one colloquialism, or I guess the colloquialism, you'll, you'll hear if you ride <clears throat> local gravel in Kansas enough, uh, you'll hear people say, don't train too hard, you'll rip your derailleur off. I'm not given to superstition, so I don't think that's true. Uh, but there is some grain of truth to it based in human psychology, I guess. Uh, typically the big races in that area are Land Run 100, uh, which is coming up, and Dirty Kanza. But there are a bunch of gravel races, 100 mile endurance type races, Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, Oklahoma. Um, and a lot of times you'll see people train real hard for events like that. Prepare in every way physically, get in the race, and in the first 20 miles, rip a derailleur off. And that's what that means. People who train hard and just their race day is ruined because they have some mechanical failure or something like that. So you'll hear, you'll hear people say that a lot. Don't train too hard. You'll just rip your derailleur off. <clears throat> and there is some truth to that because, you know, when you've spent a hard six months preparing for that race, you know, usually the pattern works, you do it once, you survive it, and you think next time I'm going to come back and next year I'm going to crush this thing. <clears throat> and so you do spend a lot of time training, and then you get out there and you get to that first mud section, and your mentality is different this time. Instead of saying, what do I need to do to survive this race, no matter what else happens I want to finish, you're thinking I'm going to crush this race. So you plow through the mud and you rip your derailleur off. Um, and even if you haven't heard that saying, uh, I bet there are people that will listen to this and say, yep, that's exactly what I did. Uh, top racers do that all the time, but top racers are sponsored and they're in it to win it regardless. Uh, for people like typical racers, like myself, I think the important lesson from that colloquialism is never lose sight of the fact that you know you need to respect the race um, regardless of the time you finish with finishing that race the dirty Kansas or the land run 100 is an honor and a privilege and in any given year when you line up you know uh, you can look to the right or to the left and to the right or to your right and say to yourself one of us is not going to finish who's it going to be me no it's not going to be me uh, so yeah certainly train hard certainly train to crush the race but there will come a moment in every race where you have to decide uh, is this a moment of survival or is this a moment of performance and um, if you plow through that mud section or, you know, or whatever the case may be, if you uh, take those big rocks at a high rate of speed, uh, maybe you'll luck out. Uh, on the other hand, that may be the end of your day. So you have to weigh the opportunity cost there and think to yourself, if I give up 30 extra seconds to, uh, or maybe even five extra minutes to uh, take this obstacle cautiously. Uh, is, it, is it worth it? Mm, for me, the answer is always yes, but maybe not for you. Anyhow, something to think about. Don't train too hard. You'll rip your derailleur off.